kicking off today fishing in inland lake metro kind of metro Detroit area out toward Lansing almost actually so um, this is the lake I grew up on I have not fished it in quite a few years actually that's not true I fished it probably twice in the past six seven years both times was on a kayak and uh, I did not spend too much time there so today we got the boat out and uh, we're gonna see what we can do again I haven't fished here in a while I do not know what this lake is like so I will be trying to figure it out this morning um, hopefully we're on some fish today there's a little bit of wind some overcast fish should be biting pretty good so uh, yeah we'll see what we can do we'll see you in a second see ya got out um, been out for just a couple minutes fish are already busting there's an island over here it's got a little point that comes off of it a couple fish busted off that and then there's a sandbar that runs from there straight across to that point and there are a couple fish busting over there so I might cruise around this area throw a buzz bait there's a good amount of chop on the water might switch to a swim bait here but uh, we'll try to get on them. Running a whopper plopper off this point. Just got hit. Hopefully it's not a pike. Damn it, it's a pike. Always. That is one thing I do remember about this lake. Is that it is slammed with pike. Get this guy out of here. See if we can get a bass. Come here, dude. Let's see if I can do this without getting pulling them out. So, I mean, come on. Are you kidding me? Great. Stop. There he goes. There we go. Little fish on. I was using the whopper plopper. Sorry for the wind. Uh, I was using whopper plopper, but the uh, no, 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 stay down, bro, stay down. The wind picked up way too much. He's trying to get me down in those weeds. Come on now, come on, fish. Not happening. Come on, come on. There we go. We'll take him. We'll take him. Oh yeah, he's double hooked. Nice little two. Yeah, two and a half, maybe even three. But we'll see. Oh yeah, thank God for trailer hooks. A lot of guys throw. Uh, trailers on their spinner baits. That's yeah, about a three. Um, I do not. No trailers on spinner baits. I mean, if I'm fishing up shallow, I might. But when I'm running flat, deep points, um, that I always have a trailer hook on. So. I can thank Kevin Van Dam for that. Switched over a jerk bait. Just got a fish. It's on. Hopefully, I keep it on. Let's see what we're working with here. Come on, fish. Where you at? Come on. He's giving up. Good head shakes. There we go. There's the fishy. Got a little fight left in him. 
Nice little two pounder. Little two pound guy. Beautiful, beautiful. Working this flat, it's about 10 feet deep. Nice little fish. Big bass of the day. <laughs> Thought I had weeds. Brought them in. They're stacked up. They must be stacked up over here. The sun's got out. Are you kidding me right now? I'm trying to film a video, ass clown. Anyway, so yeah, it's about the size. He was ambitious. Ambitious little dude. Going after a fish the size of him. Another one on this weed edge. Again, about the same size. Pound, pound, pound. But, uh, a little bigger. They're getting bigger and bigger. So, just keep working it. We got out of the wind for a little while. Wind was not uh, providing. They were busting. I just couldn't get them to bite. So, moved up out of the wind. And uh, worked out. Got another one. This one feels a little better. Doesn't look that big though. Oh, it's foul hooked. Oh, kind of. Oh, it's not bad. A little pounder, a little over a pound maybe. Yeah, I think I'm gonna run this weed bed again. running that outside weed edge now. It's a deeper diving crankbait, or a uh, jerkbait. And uh, yeah, just hooked up. Halfway decent one, pound and a half, close to two maybe. Not too shabby. Come here, dude. We gotta get you up in this boat, son. Got him. Got him, got him. There she is. Nice. Yeah, a little over a pound and a half. B E A Utical. Got another one on. About 50 feet up from the last one. They are liking the jerkbait today. About a pound. Not too bad. I moved up to a deeper diving crank or a jerk bait, a little bit larger. Still using uh, earlier, I was throwing a smaller one, and it was kind of like a perch color. I did not have the larger jerk bait in that color, so I picked something as close as I could find to it. And uh, yeah, it's working out. So I worked that outside weed edge a little bit shallow probably six feet of water twice caught fish both times probably eight eight fish through there i don't know you guys don't know because you will watch the video so what i did is they were all pretty small so i put this deeper deeper diver on here and i bounced out a little bit now i'm in like 10 to 12 foot there's still weeds out here and uh yeah, I'm starting to get a little better quality of fish here. The bigger fish seem to be hitting it and liking it worked a little bit slower and they're hitting it on the pause. The uh, smaller fish earlier, I was working it super fast. I'm still not pausing that long just because the water's pretty warm. But it's not too hot to where they're inactive. Got another one on. This one actually feels pretty good. Probably like a two pounder. Oh, yeah, he's head shaking. Stay down. Oh yeah, that one's a nice one. 
a little bit. Oh, just kidding. You just had some fight in them, that's all. Not too shabby. But not what we're looking for. Got another one on. This one's fighting pretty good. Yeah. Oh, he's hooked across the face. Still a two pounder. Not too bad. Oh, yeah. Maybe he's a little more than two. Two and a half. Good need players for this guy. Got hooked right in the eye. Follow him as I. Nice fish. Pretty good. Get in there. Midday update. Uh, probably got about 15, 20, I don't know, in the boat today. Quality, not the best. A um, few over two pounds. I think that first bass I caught was probably the biggest, close to three. But um, good day. Not going too bad. Jerk bait's definitely been the bait of the day. Um, fishing portion of this may be over. The male side of fishing with the male will be out here in minutes. So we're going to hang out and do some water stuff with the dog. Thanks for staying tuned this long and uh, we might get back out here and catch more fish a little bit later. But um, yeah, let's go pick up the dog. See ya. We are out. Oh, look at that. Oh, does that mean you want me to throw it? Is that what it means when you drop it right in my path? It's actually easier to go around this way to get to the boat, but then... Huh? It's easier to go in this way to get to the boat, but there's like a ton of poop you have to walk through. Poop? You said she called the shit poop. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, I'm gonna walk around real quick. So we are in Thompson Lake in Howell. We got islands here. This is where I grew up. Two islands. With the sandbar connecting them. There's a pit bull on a paddleboard up there. I don't want to be intrusive, so. Yeah, so we're out on an island. There's Poochie over there. Hey, Poochie! Oh, she's <laughs> out. Yeah. Leave it. Oh. Ah, 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 out. Give me, no, here. Come here. Get your toy, dingus. Is this what you want? Here? She's tough today. Growling, barking at people. Come here. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Leave it. Leave it. You want me to throw it? You want me to throw it? Go give it to mom. Go on. We'll finish the tour once that lady gets going on her pedal board. Okay, we're going to finish the tour of the islands before we uh, lose battery here. It's down to 30%. So this is the island we're on. And then there's a big sandbar. It's about 100 yards long. That takes you to another island. People camp out here. Not really camp out, they just dock to the beach their boat, party, all night long. I grew up right over there. That's Thompson Lake in Howell, Michigan. And these are the islands that hillbillies, uh, including myself, beach their boats and then get hammered. Pretty good fishing out here though, not bad. Once my cranking rod gets in, we'll do some deep cranking out here and we'll be able to get on them good. So, that is in the mail. I forgot which one I ordered. I think I ordered a favorite rush. It wasn't a cranking rod though. Well, it might have been, but I wanted a 7 Eleven um, Defender, but they were all out of stock. So, I just ordered the 7 8 for now. Once the 7 Eleven gets in stock, I might shop around and look at other brands. See if I can find a good deep cranking rod. And uh, once we do that, we'll hit these ledges out here. This uh, lake gets to like 50, 60 feet. It's got some good ledges. So we'll do some deep cranking this summer. We'll be fishing this lake quite a bit. 
my office is here. All right. Oh, she found me. Okay. If you want to mail them all this way, you got to pull it forward to your left. What? Oh, oh you're going to me now, huh? That's my point. Cough it up. Cough it up. Cough it up. Come here. Don't go down there. That dog might whoop your ace, buddy. Might get ya. I don't know if you'll win that one. Is this what you want right here? It is freezing out here. Why, what's the temperature supposed to be at? 75? The 20 mile an hour wind. Oh my god, it's cold. The water temp said it was 72. It doesn't feel like it. Ready? We gotta go far again, okay? Come on! Go give it to mom. Okay, you some water? Yeah, she took some in. You I. You gonna fetch them up, Poochie? Come here. Out. You okay? Ready? Stop. Out. Come here. Get your toy. <laughs> fetch him up. You gonna fetch it? You gonna fetch it? Come here. Stay here. Out. Good girl. As soon as I turn it off, it starts going after the waves. She bites and attacks the waves. <laughs> Nuts, dog. Got some waves rolling in. It's your favorite thing to do. Attack the waves. <laughs> I can watch this all day long. Oh my god, this dog's nuts. <laughs> You are a lunatic, dude. All right, not a bad day on the lake. Thanks for tuning in. Um, caught a decent bag of fish. The actual bag itself, top five, probably wasn't that great. Maybe 11, 12-ish, maybe. And, uh, but it's always good to catch fish. 
caught a decent amount. The jerk bait was on fire today. Sorry, I'm trying to drive with a boat and do this outro so don't forget it later. But um, yeah, dog got out there, had some fun. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. There's gonna be more dog stuff. There's gonna be more fishing stuff. I don't know where we're gonna fish next. Um, eventually we're gonna get out on St. Clair, do some smallmouth, maybe Great Lakes. Uh, I do want to make a trip to the west side of the state sometime this summer and fish Kalamazoo River. I think that's where the record smallmouth is out of, or at least it used to be. Uh, but I want to get on some more smallmouth. I had a trip up north recently, uh, actually last week. I planned on doing a lot of fishing and a lot of videoing, but it did not turn out that way. So, um, unfortunately I didn't get any of that, but... I will um, make sure I get some small mouth stuff in the future. And uh, yeah, again, thanks for tuning in. The dog stuff that's coming up, we're going to get a hold of our trainer. We're going to start protection training soon. Um, I'm not a dog trainer, not a professional dog trainer. I am not a professional fisherman, but I'm figuring this stuff out. It'll be fun to watch her go through protection training. I don't know what else we're going to do with her. Uh, we might do agility. We might do fly ball. I don't know. She's very fast, especially for her size. So I want to get in her into something with speed. And she loves to bite, so we're doing protection training for sure. That's why we got a melon ball. But, uh, yeah, thanks again for tuning in. And uh, if you like the video, please hit that like button. If you didn't like the video, please don't hit the thumbs down. Just don't do anything. That'd be great. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll be seeing you guys soon. See ya!